Ursula here from MistyHilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, I'm working on my Document Christmas 23 album, and I'm working on my page for December 2nd, which I titled Trimming the Tree. I'm using the digital version of the collection Happy Christmas by Cardabella and stamps and dies and um, silhouette cuts and all that. So I'm starting with a um, strip, a wide, a broad strip of paper that I will work across the two pages. This is an actual double page spread. There was so much going on that day that I decided to make it um, across like the two pages. And that's what I like about the album, the way that I set it up this year, that it gives me that flexibility that um, if there's little happening in one day, I can just use one page. And if there's a lot uh, happening, I can use two pages and I can even add flaps and um, these kinds of things if there's even more. Um, happening on that day. So um, on that day, I actually trimmed my personal Christmas tree and uh, or just decorated it. And there was also in my community, there was uh, the big Christmas tree. There was uh, what we what happens in my community every year, there's a Christmas tree lighting ceremony. So which is a lot of fun. People gather around the tree, we um, sing Christmas songs and then uh, the tree is lit and we have a cup of cocoa and cookies so these kinds of things and uh, so there were two kind of important things going on that day and that's why I decided I will create a page that um, ha allows me for both these kinds of important stories to be told so I have uh, here uh, I decided to even take that circle there across the two pages but instead of trying to glue the two pages together I decided to just keep them separate and um, that um, works just fine for me um, just to attach that little bit of that circle there then here I have another little circle that will go underneath the, the photos and so I have to decide where I want everything to be placed so that it can, can still be visible underneath um, when I layer things on top. So here I decide, okay, um, that one photo doesn't need anything to go underneath so I can already start gluing it and then I can take that little circle there, work with that and um, then I can uh, add the other piece, uh, bits and pieces there. Um, so there's um, a kind of a row of photos going across the page there. I used one of the journaling cards that came with this collection and um, did my journaling on it. Obviously you see that journaling card is tiny because that's the beauty of using digital, um, the digital version of it. I can print everything out in the size that I need. My page size is an A4 size, and so for this one, it works really well if I um, if I have um, smaller elements, obviously. And so I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to use um, a full three by four journaling card um, very well on my page. But this worked really well to just reduce the uh, the journal card and then make it basically into a label that I can write into. So next thing, then I'm ready to work on the next page there. This is a die cut frame that I used um, for my photo. And so I just put the photo behind it and um, I decided to place it just a little off um, the, the page there because uh, it didn't matter to me if I had to cut a little bit off there. So I'm just I'm putting it at an angle there on the other ad edge. And this one is for the tree lighting um, ceremony that we have in my community. So here I'm deciding where I should place it because I have another smaller photo that will um, go there as well. And so these two photos will um, be placed there together. That um, row of trees also came with a collection. It's this digital um, piece. Um, but all these, this is an actual physical uh, collection. It's available, but I, like I say many times, I get the digital version because then everything um, I can make everything fit the size that I need it to work with. So here is this little cocoa um, label. I had that from last year's Christmas. It comes from my silhouette library. I had it printed and never needed it. And so I felt, okay, here is the place to go because there's a bit of cocoa there um, that we were enjoying um, from the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Then um, there's this title and um, I used just one of my fonts and um, just um, 
had my silhouette cut it out and it says trimming and so I'm starting with the center to um, basically go outward in both directions with the letters so that um, I didn't want a huge gap between the letters in the center and I wanted it to fit um, and be right across the two pages there so um, rather than starting on the left I'm starting on the right in this part and for this one again I'm moving from the edge to the center of the page uh, with this one as well so in this case I'm starting with the left and moving to the right that way I can ensure that my letters are close together um, so this one was just easily just cut out with my silhouette and then um, creating um, a title this way and then I also had this um, a print that I then just cut uh, to go with so that it would say trimming the tree and I think that's a cute enough title and then obviously as if you have uh, been watching some of my videos before you know that I always add some word strips and I have a whole ton of them uh, that I print out and um, then use on my projects and I have them for all different kinds of um, um, themes and topics so this one obviously are my these are my my Christmas um, themed ones and so I have a lot of them from last year left over that I am now trying to use up and whenever I run out I can always start printing again uh, making some small adjustments I'm sure but um, that's the beauty if you have these um, as a printing job so um, by the way I also share these as freebies on my blog mistyhilltops.com if you are ever interested or there are a ton of other freebies. Now all I need to do is just cut off that little bit there that was just um, peeking off the page and I think that's my two pages done. I'm going to leave you with some more close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.